Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about black holes and uh, how to handle them. Uh, what's the best way that I personally believe it is to go through them. Uh, we'll do sandbox since we can do this in a test environment. By the way, if you do like uh, the content here, please do like and subscribe. It does help me grow my channel. Anyway, uh, it's one of these events where uh, it'll come up on the screen and tell you that pressure is rising. Um, let me go ahead and switch these so we're not worried about oxygen and CO2. I'm gonna put these in. All right, that's fresh. Just blow on this real quick. All right, and then we're gonna start the event. So normally, uh, we're gonna talk about two different ways you would approach this. Um, off, this is one of those events that you want to try and catch early because it allows you to better prepare for it and make it possible that you don't have to change any, you won't lose any atmosphere. And that's the an ideal situation. You don't want to lose atmosphere uh, because losing atmosphere over modes like ranked, for instance, is an eventual death because you'll run out of nitrogen or um, you'll, your oxygen or your, your CO2 will be leaking out into the space. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start this. This does take a moment. So we do have the gravitational. So when we see this, we have a nice early warning. We know it's coming. It hasn't quite come yet. Your best course of action is to turn off the pressure machine, turn off the O2. The other thing you want to do is make sure these filters are clean. Go ahead and blow on these filters. So one of the things we're going to be doing is blowing on these filters quite often. Um, we do we need to wait for the event to start, but we're aware of it. So since we're aware of it, we can simply stay over here and watch these monitors. And the reason I turn the O2 off is because it's gonna cause my pressure to actually drop, which is what I want. Uh, this pressure is gonna drop just ever so slightly because um, I have oxygen loss. And the CO2 is being pulled out of the air. Um, and then when the event starts, they immediately turn on the pressure machine and the O2. That's the first thing we're gonna do. But we have to keep our eye on this. And you know when it starts because the sound, the background sound, will change. You'll hear it like an ominous sound. You'll know instantly that you're in the gravitational uh, event. There it goes. It's starting to rise. So turn this on, turn this on, and then what we do is what I call the, the blowing on the filter. And you have to make sure these stay at near 100% clean filters. It's really annoying, but that is what's required in order to keep that pressure uh, down. So our pressure is starting to go up, but doing these two things, oh, we don't need the oxygen. Actually, never turn your oxygen on. That was a very bad idea. Um, so what you want to do is just blow on these two things while the event's going on, and it should be able to keep your pressure down. only just like we're only just keeping up and that's because we're breathing in oxygen so we're we ourselves are helping to lower pressure uh, this is pulling out the co2 that we're expelling and the bottom machine is is uh, trying to keep the pressure down and as you can tell nothing no holes have popped and the event is coming to an end now this required me to be very ready um, you had to be very ready for the event. And as you can see, my pressure is now stabilizing. Most excellent. And uh, we can see that this is normally what happens in a black hole. Uh, now that we're stabilizing, I don't have to keep blowing on those. Uh, that's what the black hole event looks like from outside the window. The sound effect you hear is what you're hearing right now. The ooh, ah, that means the black hole event has started. It actually starts lowering pressure, I think, before that sound comes up. So uh, knowing it's coming helps a ton versus reacting to it, especially if you're not running anything or, or setting up the systems. You won't have this early warning system. I will show you the way to do it as well um, if you don't have your main computer online. And we'll go over that. Uh, another thing to note, we're going to quickly show how, what happens. Um, I'm just going to fast forward it. What happens when a black hole is, or event is over, black hole event's over. Uh, your pressure is going to change drastically. Um, what you're going to see here is a quick dip. And I'm going to turn this on before we suffocate. Uh, there'll be eventually a huge dip in your pressure. And the reason that's bad is because your oxygen requirements at low pressure are much higher than normal, which means you'll instantly be in a bad breathability. 
Uh, and it happens pretty quick in the event. When the event ends, you'll, you'll notice that that could happen. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things you'll need to do is quickly turn on your, your O2 and get it back to speed. Unfortunately, uh, that also means that we're going to have uh, a, an unbalance. So by doing this, it's going to try and balance out. I'll probably get my breathability back. But the new balance is going to be a lower nitrogen and a higher oxygen mix, which is not what we started the game with. The ideal oxygen mix is 20%, right? 20% uh, and 0 0.6 at one bar. Um, but that's not what's going to happen. We're going to end up having an oxygen concentration, which is going to put us at one bar sooner. And the nitrogen is going to be pumping in, but it's going to say we're at one bar. But those values won't be the same. Um, here you can see we're at 22%, not 20 and 0.6%. It's not really that big of a deal at first, but if this continues uh, and the number gets skewed and we're at like 25% oxygen, 30% oxygen, etc., it becomes harder for the maintain the oxygen because you have to have more oxygen in the air, less oxygen in the tank, and ideally you want more oxygen in the tank, uh, not in the air. Uh, so to fix this, what you do is you turn off your oxygen, um, and I think it actually does it itself. Yeah, it actually did eventually balance out. Uh, you can just let it sit for a while. It might balance itself out. If it, you're not, if it doesn't, um, just turn off the oxygen and let the oxygen drop um, a little bit underneath. I'm just going to do this real fast. You would let it drop, you know, down below 20%. Um, go back to one, and then once you're below 20%, turn this back on, uh, and eventually this will come back up to 20%. And eventually all your values will be back to normal, uh, and you'll be in a situation where you're like, okay, I don't need, I don't need my pressure anymore. I'm good. All right, and so that that's the whole um, handling it perfectly without having to repair anything and everything working out. Now, on the contrary, we have not prepared. And it could happen, because if you're doing ranked, you're not going to always have this main computer. So we're going to turn the main computer off. We don't have a main computer, but we do have a gravitational event, um, the black hole event. So we will have that. And we're going to not know when it's going to hit. So we're going to be in this situation where, you know, you're, you're running a game. Um, hopefully you have this assembled. If you don't have this assembled, um, it's going to be really bad. You really don't want this disassembled. If you don't have a main computer, you kind of want to have your... It, it, you really want to have the pressure machine at the ready. Because if you don't have a main computer for the early morning, then you won't be able to assemble that quick enough uh, to not be suffering heavily from the event. Uh, and it will create a very bad problem because without being able to pull pressure out, um, you'll overpressurize and a lot of your atmosphere will leak into space. And you're going to be in a bad situation for long runs, especially if you're doing hour long, uh, you know, hours and hours in ranked, uh, whatever you're trying to pull off. So anyway, we're going to wait till the event starts. I'm actually not looking here. I'm just going to be like doing whatever. And uh, eventually I'll hear the event start and I'll need to react. And as is something you can do too, you don't have to, if you think it's cheesy, it's fine, but uh, you definitely need to be quick. All right, so the events started. Now I paused uh, just so I could describe it. I heard it in my the back, and I don't know if you do. There's a uh, sound that starts to rise. If you hear that sound, if you have keen ears, you'll know that that's the gravitational uh, event just by sound. Uh, I don't have the computer, but I know it started. So I'm gonna quickly run over here, turn this on, turn this off, open this up, hello. I'm going to open this below and I'm going to try and fight, but there's a good chance that something's going to pop. Now there's two options about this. I can try and fight this, which is, could be a losing. The other option is to open the door. Um, you know, you can always do this. This will leak some air out. Um, that's an option. Uh, and then once again, you want to go back to blowing on these filters. I tend to just want to blow on the filters because if I do manage to not spring a leak, then I won't lose any atmosphere. If I do spring a leak, it's not the end of the world. It sounds like I will, yeah. So I, I did spring a leak. It's not the end of the world because that's actually helping me to lower the pressure. So obviously this isn't the ideal situation. Uh, this is why not having an early warning system is very much not the ideal solution. The main computer is great for this one reason alone um, with the black hole event because I have the ability to prepare uh, when I have the computer. Without the computer, I don't have the ability to repair. And I have to do this. And I have to look at this. All right, pressure is good. Let's fix that hole. And then you want to fix this hole as soon as pressure. Oh, we got two holes. That's not good. 
you know, because now we're scrambling to, to get rid of holes, and uh, these holes have made means that we, we lost we lost atmosphere. Where is the other hole? There it is. All right, there we go. We got all the holes. All right, but we lost atmosphere, so it wasn't ideal. Uh, wasn't the best. Wasn't the worst. Um, but yeah, that's how you could handle it still and still, you know, be a-okay. Uh, but you'll end up patching holes, or if you don't like patching holes, what you'll do is you'll end up leaking a bunch of your uh, atmosphere through this door. You'll just open that door, swing back on over here, and you'll keep on blowing on these and watching the uh, Atmo here. And the Atmo drops down to about, you know, one or uh, either one, on, above the one like this is fine, but you could even be more safe and maybe drop a little bit under here, but you'll lose more atmosphere. Uh, and then lock the door. Always remember to lock the door because if you forget, then you're going to just leak all your pressure right out the window, right out that door. Even though you're not pressing it, an unlocked door leaks a lot of pressure. Uh, and then you'll end up in a situation where you have no atmosphere and you'll quickly run out of gases. All right, anyway, that's everything I know about this. Um, and once again, like I said, you'll have to turn that back on eventually or you'll suffocate. Uh, if you do have a problem, that's another thing. Assuming you are in a situation, uh, this is just good knowledge to know, and you need rapid uh, oxygen release, you can just grab this, uh, you, you put the use button on it, and then, yeah, there we go. So what I did is I dropped it on the ground, I pressed F, F to open it, and then I left click really fast, because I'm holding onto that, that handle there with my right hand. Um, I use this and hold onto it really fast, and then I just place it back in. And that stops it. So you can actually sit here and watch these dials, uh, and you can watch, or you can watch this machine, and you'll see um, the oxygen going into the air. And you can like stop it by placing it in there. Uh, and that's the rapid way. Uh, it's even faster. This machine isn't going to get you air that quick. Uh, so if you're desperate and you need air now, that's the way to get it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you learned something in this video. Um, you know, it, it, black holes—they're not the greatest. Uh, having an early warning system is really critical. For maximum efficiency. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and whether you see me or you don't, I hope you all have a good one. Take care now. Bye-bye.